my foot in the hip here to keep him away from me. And then this foot here will come around. And to get the deep lasso, I point my toes this way and I get my foot against his back if I wanted the lasso and get him in this way. Yeah? But when on this move, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come around, go like this, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch my hand grip this way, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let him pass. So the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna take this foot and I'm gonna put it here. Once I do this, he's gonna start working his way to pass. That's where this hand is gonna come up, and I'm gonna come around this way and work him up to an omoplata right here. And I could straighten it out and do some other kind of funky things, or I can just come here, come like this, push it in like this. Okay, let me try one more time without my shoulder popping off. Ah, now, this could be done from down here as well, on the ground, right? Let's say here I come up, create the lasso, like that. Then, as soon as I switch my grip, and I bring the heat passes this way, this arm comes up all the way up, like that. See how I come up? I want to, remember how I told you guys to exaggerate? So you're going to come up, exaggerate, come bring yourself up, like this. What brings them over is my arm stretching. Then when I come over here like this, I'm gonna pull the arm this way, and then come here. Now, to control him, I'm gonna be heavy on his hip if I don't tap him yet. So I wanna be heavy on his hip here, like this, so that he can't move, even grip here. But if I wanna get the tap, I just come over here and go like that. Okay? You guys